What's going on dudes, it is Colossalis here, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today we are continuing on with a uh, kind of overview of the Assassin Falstead, the Air Muradin. Uh, we have two builds, two potential builds that I want to really check out. I've already checked them out and what I really want to kind of establish is, are they good? So we've already established that, you know, my Colossalis fucking lightning build is pretty damn good. Therefore, today we're gonna go for the other two. The, the 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 first one being the Gathering Storm build, you know, the, the Q build, his boomerang build, and then the second one being the Season Marksman. So upon what we get, we're gonna try to go for either the Mage or the Auto Attack. So let's go. Let's fly. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Towers of Doom. Upon the teams, let's say Artanis, Falstead, Nova, Illidan, Zebo against Illidan, Vala, Falstead, Arthas, and Sergeant Hammer. By the way, my girlfriend is playing uh, Nova. Hmm. Battle commencing in this map... Seconds. It's, it really revolves around um, team fighting, therefore I think, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for the mage build. Just because I, I will not have enough time to, uh, to gather my season marksman stacks. Anyway, if you haven't seen my latest Falstead video, his trait is basically allows us to move faster if we haven't been attacked for the last 6 seconds. His Q is a skill shot that goes forward and back and deals damage on both ways. Also slows enemies. Uh, my W ability is Lightning Rod. We can basically stick it to a target and kill, it, and kill, kill her. Nice baby, I love you! There we go. Uh, yeah, so we attach the lightning rod to uh, to a uh, target, and, uh, and it's going to, be, going to be every second going to be dealing some damage uh, for four seconds. So every second is, is it's it's dealing a little bit of damage. Uh, and our E ability is called barrel roll. Barrel roll allows us to oh baby, you're out of position. We both can die for that. No. Oh, I saved you, baby. We're good. <laughs> no, I love you too. Uh, yes, so it, it will allow us to dash in a in a direction, also granting us uh, some uh, you know a little bit of a shield for three seconds. Our, our time is going down right here. He did get some shields, and now we we might actually be able to turn this around because my girlfriend comes in and snipes the enemy Vala right in the face. Anyway, I'm on my way to this objective. The enemy team is missing a Vala. And they honestly they should be able to grab bottom, so I know you're here. Later, Illidan! bit oh shit. Baby we got we gotta get him. Yeah baby! Oh shit, okay, now we gotta leave. We're gonna wait for our tannis to cap Baby. I thought you're going in with me. Okay, now back up, back it up, back it up, baby. You engaged on hammer, no! Okay, not a big deal. Let's start this off on a um, on a positive note. All right, on, on the set range, we're gonna go for static shield, basically giving and granting us some more survivability. Some more survivability. Anyway. On level one, we did go for uh, gathering storm. Every time we we hit somebody with our Q. Uh, it is going to increase its damage by two, up to so much. I don't remember. It was it was the actual number. No, it, it just empowers it by two. Like there's no limit. Okay. Uh, I thought they actually added the limit in the latest patch. Um, this hammer is potentially out of really out of position. Nice wall. It comes some, some more damage from me, and now we're just gonna keep auto attacking this Arthas. He is slowed by my hammerang, and he is getting body blocked a little bit by the enemy Illidonger. And here comes my hammerang, and there's a kill. It looks like our our Ellen will pay for that kill with his life too, though. Yeah, so, uh, so that was our eleven one talent. Oh shit! Okay, this Illidan is a little bit out of position. We can definitely kill him, I think. Where are you going, Ellen? 
Um, yes, so so that's, that was on a level. That was our level one choice, and our level four choice was called Static Shield. What is going to do? Every single strike we do with our Lightning Rod will allow us to um, will basically be granting us four percent of our max life as a shield. You know, just just granting us some extra survivability in one one encounters. The enemy is already waiting for us right here. We're trying to bear down this Falstead. Now, now we need to back up because that's just way too much damage. Now we should definitely help this Illidan. I am focusing Arthas just because he's out of position. Now I'm gonna try to do some damage. I'm, I'm actually dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Right, Nazibo is up, the t up in the top lane. And the enemy team will just get that, no problem. Anyway, that will put us, put us on a drawing line. Basically, we are both at 32. Okay, I gotta get my uh, my positioning uh, uh, straight here. Our time is a little out of position, but he will be fine. I want to fly on this hammer. Uh, um, unfortunately, I wasn't successful in taking her out. And what I used right there to fly is my Z ability. My Z ability is called Flight. Our time is, you might want to help me. There we go. Uh, it is called flight where it's going to, it's going to allow me to fly in a, in a very big radius around the map you know it's not the whole map and it doesn't have a global um global range but it will be a quite nice circle a quite nice radius around us on the sub range we're going to go for boomerang this is going to allow us to we re reactivate a very nice kill from my girlfriend right there i'm just going to try to put myself a little bit more in the position hammer yeah, it's basically going to uh, allow us to reactivate our Q, uh, our hammer, whenever it's in the air and basically uh, dealing some additional damage around it. Very, very good for, for bursting uh, down an, an enemy opponent. Uh, I need to be careful of the gun coming maybe from the top. Looks like the friendly team is a little bit of a pick. I'm going to try to fly right in there. I'm going to be semi. And there's a kill on the enemy alien too. I was I, that's what I, I was going to say. I'm I'm going to be semi-aggressive, but I actually went in right in the middle, of being super aggressive. Doesn't matter. Uh, we should be able to get both of these, but uh, I don't know. Should I stay? I'm really low on health. I'm really low on health. Okay, looks like the friendly Artanis wants to position right there. Oh shit! I'm dead. Probably. Yeah, this is about the battle engagement. We should be, not be going into this. Okay, we get a kill. So, oh, okay, oh, okay. I'm dead, and you, you guys should just back it up and get get the get 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 that one. Just trade one for one. So the friendly alien is still going into one v four. Always, always a good option. Nope, uh, they did get that, but does anybody want to grab that, or we're just gonna let it go? Let it go. Let it go. We did get a kill on Vala there. Anyway, this commentary has been over the place, so I, I apologize. Anyway, I'm gonna go fly to the bottom lane to clear up this push. And we'll be fine. On the server range, I think we will need uh, some more damage. Honestly, we won't need any, any more damage, but I, I just want to deal some fucking damage. <laughs> Basically, the only reason why I took, out, I took up Hindering Blast. There we go. Uh, so one really bad thing about this build is that we will get really low survivability. Very, very low. Um, uh, our only survivability will be our shield from our E and our shield from our uh, from our W. That's about the only survivability survivability we'll be able to get. I'm going in there very, very aggressively here, dealing all the damage that I possibly can on this Illidan. I'm, 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 I'm actually not going to miss my um, hindering blast. I thought I, 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 I was going to miss it, but I didn't. Good job by the friendly team, capitalizing a little bit on the mistakes. I think actually this Nazibo is just pushing it way too hard. There's a lot of damage coming out on the enemy. Falls He's trying to bait us in. Um, there's no merit in going in and, and getting that kill. Uh, enemy Hammer, sh I think she'll be making her way somewhere around here. There she is. Uh, I did barrier roll basically to the other side of her, uh, so if she did try to escape, I will be body, blo body blocking her. As Falstead and his w and his wings actually have a pretty uh, big hitbox. 
therefore you will be able to body block. I mean, you know, you're a very squishy assassin, therefore uh, you you are not made for body blocking. But uh, if if you put your booty in the way, you will be doing some um, some body blocking. I'm gonna be positioning very very. There's a quick kill on the enemy false dead. Now we're gonna position here to try to auto attack down this uh, Arthas. Honestly, he should just be going down right there. Oh god, he's so low. Fuck. Okay, on my way to this to this uh, middle one. We'll be grabbing this one. Uh, honestly, he should just buck it up. I think I'll be able to get this no problem. Uh, it looks like the enemy Odin is already on the way, so I should be making my way to the bottom one as soon as I possibly can. Picking up that globe too to get some mana. And being careful of, to not being engaged on. There's the enemy hammer and... I did use my mana to to get some more survivability. Uh, I, I am gonna make my way back, even though I'm very low. I'm making my way. Oh my god! Okay, okay, back it up. They picked it up, so there's no merit to fighting this, unless we get a kill on an enemy Illidan there. Okay then, that was bad. Our whole t whole team just got wiped. Looks like that was a very successful uh, <laughs> bait on the side of the enemy team. We just gave them a very, very uh, substantial experience lead. Um, I was going to fly right behind Hammer there, but looks like the enemy false set is with her and is giving her some cover. Therefore, I'm just going to make my way there manually. She's dead. But we did lose a fort. Uh, I didn't want to, as I said, I didn't want to fly earlier just because uh, she had the backup. She had the enemy false that right with her there. Uh, so can she, you, you can see, you, you cannot she, you, you can see how much damage and we are able to do with this, with this build. Uh, very nice kill here on the enemy false dead. I'm gonna be making my way right there, picking up a kill maybe on this enemy Ludonga. There we go. And now uh, trying to, to kite this uh, enemy Arthas. Can you please put down the wall? Come on! Ah, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm going for it. There we go. Good job. Uh, friendly Odin oh, was almost taken out. Uh, we should definitely be doing this. Uh, this, are, this are times I actually did some, some substantial work on that. I will do this. And we will be able to uh, take this down and then also pick up Flow Rider on, on this level range. Basically, whenever we have our uh, trait active, we will be regenerating our basic cooldown much faster, much, much faster. It's uh, how, fa how how much faster? Hundred percent faster. So we, so basically, our Q is essentially on a ten on a five second cooldown. That's that, that's what it essentially means. On my way to the second altar, the enemy team does pick that up. That's actually a huge damage from the from the enemy team. I'm not sure why we're fighting this. I mean, they already took it, so it's like there's no merit to, to fighting on fighting until. Uh, our our Tannis is a little bit of a pickle down down in the bottom lane. Uh, our friendly Ilden did just go in there, and he will be fighting alone. But it should be fine because our, our friendly team just rejoined with him, and I will be there just shortly. Level 16, we're gonna go for 80 Gust, uh, allowing us to activate our trait a little earlier. Hi hammer, hi hammer, hi hammer, bye hammer. Oh, I thought I would get a cheeky kill, but I didn't. Uh, and that's a hundred and twenty second cooldown on my uh, on my hands right now. So it was a little bit of a wasteful use, <laughs> to say the least. Anyway, we should be taking this. Um, I'm gonna try to fly up there and to help our friend the Artanis, who will be trying to do that, trying to take over that fort. Start hammering at it. Uh, enemy, sorry, friendly Nazibo gas does get uh, ganked in the bottom lane. He was trying to push that fort, but he will be unsuccessful in doing so. And honestly, we should be careful. We should be just ganking, the, uh, ganking this and this enemy Vala. She's really out of position. Uh, there's the uh, friendly hunt, and very nice snipe from my girlfriend is going to secure a kill on this enemy Vala. Uh, here is Hammer. I'm gonna come in here. 
try to do all the burst damage that I have. It looks like enemy Odin is right here in the, in our back line, so we, we definitely have to be careful. Uh, he will get out by the dive. Um, oh, very nice, very nice juke. She just juked me the, the fuck out. Baby, it's fine. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. What? Oh, Falstead. Hi, Falstead! What? What the fuck? Didn't it just stun him? Oh, a double kill with my reactivation here. I'm gonna come in here and try to zone for my girlfriend and we will be unsuccessful in doing so. Now trying to get a kill on this Vala is probably gonna be unsuccessful. It yeah, this... Oh my god, that didn't kill her? That, that will. Oh, help me! Wait, okay, thank you, thank you, baby. Thank you, I love you. Give me a kiss, come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> okay, we'll be fine, we'll be just hearthing back. Hearthstone. You can see that this build will actually does have a lot of potential of doing more damage than my Colossal's fucking lightning build, to be honest with you, boss. I'm not saying it's better. I'm just saying it might do a little more, a little bit more damage at at certain points, especially at a greater range. I'm gonna fly top. Artanis is doing this by himself. Not sure why. Not sure uh, what merit is to, to to doing that. But okay. I'm gonna try to do that on my own. Honestly, I should be able to do so. No problem. I'm gonna go for epic mount on this level range, allowing me to uh, basically cut down uh, the the cooldown that I have on on my Z ability. You know, on my flight, and also uh, allowing me to fly much, much faster. Uh, once, I, once I get off cooldown, I'll go, I'm just going to show you guys how much faster it's actually going to proc. You know, how much faster we'll be able to fly and stuff like that. Definitely should be careful of the enemy Illidan's hunt. Uh, it looks like both Illidans did go for the hunt. I, I'm not sure if that's the new meta or what, but um, when he was brand new, like all of his changes were still pretty good. Uh, you used to go for meta almost at all times. And now we can definitely push this in. And it looks like the enemy team is just not responding to this, therefore we, we will be just taking this out, no problem. There we go, there's the fort for us. Uh, the friendly team is uh, did just take the bottom one as well. Enemy Illidan backing up just in the last second. I'm gonna try to face check this bush. And if anyone's coming, I will surprise them with all the damage that uh, is coming to them. And that's gonna be a game. I actually did not pay attention to the count on the enemy. That was a very quick game. Holy crap, damn. Baby, you, you, you did some amazing job. I love you. Looks like... Um, I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to show you guys the the epic mount. I don't know. This commentary was over the place. I think. I think I've I've uh, I've explained all of the abilities again. I mean, you guys can go over to the other videos and see them. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go over the build again just to show you guys what I go for when I go for the boomerang build. Honestly, I do not go all boomerang. You know, I, I don't go all into the boomerang. You know, I do kind of try to take care some of the um, take care of the problems that. Um, Falstead has with his cooldowns. Therefore, Gathering Storm. After hitting a hero, it is going to increase increase its damage by two. This uh, this potentially can get out of hand. I didn't see how many stacks I've gotten to. This is one of the uh, one of the issues that I hope Blizzard fixes. Is that uh, you know in the in the after game you know screen we will be able to see how many stacks everybody's gotten of the region master of the you know of different just questing talents. Hopefully, that's going to be. Coming soon, TM. Um, so Gathering Storm was our level 1 pick, level 4 we picked up Static Shield. Honestly, there's nothing else here that, that's going to benefit me. You know, I didn't go for a Season Marksman, therefore Hammer Gains is not good. And Updraft, honestly, it is one of, it is one of your choices. The extension on the range is actually quite, quite substantial. So I'm going to try it out and let you guys know how I get on. Probably on Facebook. So if you guys go over there, I, I will have some, some comments of Updraft against Static Shield. So again. Nice plug, but uh, you guys are going to get something out of it. On level 7, I went for Boomerang, activate Hammerang second time for more damage. Basically, it is going to deal quite a lot of damage. 
when I activate it. Uh, after it, after I've you know I've let it go, after I actually shot the skill shot, I will be able to reactivate it and deal a lot of damage around uh, the, the actual projectile. Level 10, I went for Hindering Blast, which allowed me to secure some kills, but honestly, I used it like twice to fall on just, on just thin air, um, just for, basically for no reason. Uh, so you have to be really... You have to be careful just because after a short delay, I think it's like one second delay, to be honest with you guys. So it's similar something to Chromie's uh, Q. Uh, on level 13, we went for the Flow Rider. And as I was saying, you know, I want to take care of his long cooldowns, lengthy, you know, they're not super long, like 20, 30 seconds, no. They're le they're lengthy for a, for a mage, you know, so uh, we're trying to take care of that by picking up um, a Flow Rider. While Tailwind is active, your basic ability, which is your trait, uh, your basic abilities recharge 100% faster. And then on level 16, we want to further complement that by uh, allowing our trait to kick in even faster without uh, without waiting six seconds, we only have to wait two seconds for our cooldowns. That's just super awesome. And then we also get an, an, a nice bonus on top of it. Um, so the speed bonus we will get we'll be getting from our trade is not twenty but thirty percent. So we're getting closer to that mount speed. And on level twenty, we did go for epic mount, but we I didn't actually get it to showcase it. So what it does, it reduces the cooldown of flight by twenty five percent. Uh, sorry, not 25%, but 25 seconds, and reduce the cast time before flying to 0 0.5, and then uh, you increase the speed of the actual flight by 50%, which is just super good. You're able to get around the map so quickly, it's just ridiculous. But it's right, so we're, it reduces the cooldown of flight by 25, I think the cooldown is 40, uh, as it is 45, so you know, it becomes a 20 second cooldown. Super good. Anyway, I hope, anyway, guys, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, sub that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go over to all the social media because I do post some interesting stuff uh, up here. Pro uh, you know, I probably post something like I just said, you know, a comparison between Static Shield and the actual, what's the name? The Updraft talent. Uh, where, you know, it's not worth of making the whole video for. I'll just, you know, make a sh very, very short, you know, couple, couple of uh, uh, sentences or something, or maybe a short article about, about you know, uh, what I found out. Um, other than that, uh, thank you, for, thank you for coming by. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, I love you, baby, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye.